Superior is one of them Pokemon where you don't have to think about it much. Just click Leaf Storm. This video is going to show you why it's such a potent sweeper despite being underused. With the contrary ability reversing stat changes, so Leaf Storm, for example, will boost your special attack instead of lowering it, this monster can snowball out of control real quick. Today we have two battles showcasing the sweeping potential of Superior. First is against Nico and then against Cody. So without further ado, I present to you all the Superior video. Okay, Nico's brought a pretty cool team with the Archaludon Sinister Mien Shao a magma, a toxicity, a low key form, and a standaconda. Pretty awesome stuff. Um, looks like Hodgeco could put some work in with that Sinister. Potentially with the Brave Birds, and then the Terra Blast on the Archaladon could be really cool if we get Moxie up. Um, looks pretty good. So let's see how this goes along. Let's lead off with our. Uh, I want to lead with Heatran, but they might lead with me and Xiao. So I might lead off with Swampert. Swampert seems like a good lead. So let's do that. And the battle begins. Good lookout for Nico. So they're going to lead off with Sean Cool, the Sandaconda, as I led off with my Swampert. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. So, do we hit this thing in the face of a liquidation straight away? Or do we go for a flip turn? They probably switch out, right? So we go for a flip turn here. They actually go for a Stealth Rocks, which is interesting. So Stealth Rocks comes through. Now, obviously, we can get rid of that with the Cyclers, are no problem. So let's go for a flip turn. Now, I should do a nice chunk of damage. Does a nice chunk of damage. And um, they're not sand spit, which is good to know. Let's see what they're gonna do here. So let's go for a switch into superior. Or should we go into the Cyclozar? Rapid spin. They do have a ghost type in Sinister. Let's go into Cyclozar anyway. We'll go Cyclozar and we'll rapid spin away. Nice and shiny as well, gotta love it. And um, point stones do dig in because we're not heavy G boots on this particular Cyclozar. And they reveal they are leftovers, which is good to know. I mean, I, I didn't see the Rocky Helmet, so I kind of assumed they were leftovers. Um, let's go for a Rapid Spin now. Rapid Spin comes through. They did stay in, which is interesting. And um, let's see what happens here. They go for a Body Press, which is going to sting quite a bit. Takes us out, in fact. Um, so we got rid of the Rocks, which is Cyclozar's main job. But at what cost, you know? At what cost? So now we can go into Superior. We can just have a Leaf Storm, which is going to be great. So Salazar comes in the Superior, like so. We go for a Leaf Storm every single time here. They, they probably switch out into the Toxicity or the Magmar. They withdraw the Sandaconda, as you would expect. And what are they going to go into exactly? They're going to go into Bribjuridon. I mean, we know what that is. It's the Archelodon, but <laughs> it's a weird name. Uh, Leaf Storm comes through. It's going to do no damage, of course. No damage whatsoever, but we do get that special attack boost, and they have got stamina and not sturdy, which is good to know. Um, so now, what do we go into? If we assume they're going to go for a Draco here, we should go into our our, uh, our Swampert. Gardevoir is too risky because they could go for a Flash Cannon, predicting the switch. So we withdraw Superior, not wanting to take a Draco Meteor to the face. We go to something that's a bit more accustomed to taking special attacks, which is our Assault Vest Swampert. So Swampert comes in, like so, nice and shiny. And they go for a Dragon Pulse, which is even better because it's a bit weaker. And that's going to do a nice chunk of damage to us. Nothing too drastic. So, um, now looking at the team, I, I say we just go for an Earthquake. There's no real reason not to. They withdraw. Are they going to go Sinister? That's a good good choice if they do. Fatalicia. That's going to be the Sinister, right? Yeah, Sinister comes in. And we go for an EQ. Let's see how much damage it does first and foremost. A good chunk of damage, to say the least. But it was a crit, that's why. Um, so, now... If we assume they're probably going to go for a Calm Mind here or a Strength Zap. We should go into... Why don't I have Trick on you? Um, We should go into... Probably Hunchko is probably the best. I don't think they'll go for a Strength Zap. I think they go for a... I think they go for a Calm Mind. So I'm going to withdraw into Hunchko. And even if they do go for the um, Strength Zap, I believe... Break, no, nice and shiny as well. Brave Bird should still KO. So they do go for a strength stat, which is fine. It's going to recover their HP. Um, but it, we have got a really substantial attack stat. So Brave Bird should still KO here. So I'm going to go for it. They withdraw. So are they going to go Archelodon right now? Sean Cool. Who's Sean Cool again? That's the Sandaconda, right? Yeah, Sandaconda comes in. We go for a Brave Bird. It's going to still sting a little bit. Nothing too drastic. I don't think that would have KO'd the Sinister, to be fair. Probably not. But um, either way, either way, we go for a U-turn here, right? Yeah, we go for a U-turn, no doubt. 
U-turn comes through. Boom. And uh, looking at the squad, I would say Psychic and Gardevoir does really well. So I'm going to go into Gardevoir now. And um, the reason I'm going to Gardevoir is purely and simply because A, we're going to trace the, uh, trace the Shed Skin. Which means if they glare us, we can at least get out of it. Um, which they do glare us. So that, that's worked out nicely for us. So yes, they may have glared us, but we have got the Shed Skin. Which means that we could potentially break out of it every single turn. That we're on the field. Because obviously we'll lose it if we switch out. And we didn't break out of this this time. So now let's go for a Psychic. The reason I'm going for a Psychic is because I have a feeling they're going to go into Magmar. They withdraw. Not wanting to get KO'd, which makes sense. And they're going to go into Fatalicia, which is of course the Sinistra. Sinistra's not going to want to take Psychic either. Which is great. It's going to do a nice trick of damage. Just half in fact, which is great. So let's go for another Psychic. And we are Choice Scarf, so we still outspeed despite the Paralysis. And we take out the Sinistra, which is fantastic. So with Sinistra out of the way, we're in a much better position with Swampert. Ground Zero comes in. Who's Ground Zero? Toxtricity? Okay. So... This thing probably outspeeds us. We're going to get hit by a sludge wave right now. Let's go into Swampert. I think Swampert's a good shout. So we're joining Swampert because it resists and we're Assault Vest. So we should be able to take it like a champ. So Swampert comes in like so. Or Loga now. Nice and shiny. And um, they do go for a sludge wave which is going to bounce right off us. Practically does nothing. Tells me they might be choice specs based on the damage. So I'm going to go for an EQ now because there isn't really anything to switch into an EQ. They withdraw anyway. What are they going to go into to take said EQ? The Archelodon. Interesting choice. So, the, the, I mean, if you have to choose anything, pick this thing because it's most bulkiest, right? So Earthquake comes through and it's going to nearly KO the Archelodon, which is fantastic. They do get a stamina boost, but it's whatever. Let's go for another Earthquake real quick. They go for a Dragon Pulse. It's going to sting a little bit, not too much. There we go. Earthquake comes through. And that takes out the Archelodon, which is fantastic. So Swampert saves the day by taking out the Archelodon. Now, unfortunately, I did say that Swampert takes on a lot of the team. Not going to be the case now that we're low on HP. So Wishu comes in, which is going to be Mianxia, probably. Yep, Mianxia comes in. Do we switch out? Do we have a switch in? Um, I say maybe Gardevoir if the Regenerator. We can find out what set they are as well. I think Gardevoir is our best switch, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. We can still sack Swampert off later. And even if they knock us off, it won't two-shot us. Don't think. So um, we'll trace them. They have got Reckless, which is good to know. And uh, they go for a Fake Out, which is going to sting a little bit. Nothing too drastic. Now, we go for a Psychic again. Nothing can switch into the Psychic. U-turn, that's fine. U-turn's going to come through. It does a lot of damage with a critical hit. But what's going to take this Psychic like a champ? Probably Magmar, if anything. Wonder Sam comes in. That is the Magmar. We go for a Psychic. It's going to sting a little bit. Nothing too drastic. Yeah, they're a Violite for sure. Um, do we go for another Psychic? I think we go for another Psychic here. They go for a knockoff, proving they are speed invested, which is good to know. And that's going to take out Gardevoir. So Gardevoir goes down. They uh, knocked off our Choice Scarf. And now, best bet, probably, because they're going to be Flame Body. I'd say Heatran's the best bet. I think Heatran's the best bet. So let's go Heatran now. Floating in the air over air balloon. And uh, we'll go for a Stealth Rock. So maybe we'll get the Stealth Rocks up. They go for a knockoff. That's fine. Knockoff's going to pop our air balloon. Now, they could have Scorching Sands, which will sting a little bit. But it is what it is at the end of the day. My main deal here is to get as much damage off as possible. So I'm going to go for... I may as well just go for a Lava Plume here. So they go for a Scorching Sand. It's going to sting quite a bit. Won't really take us out though because we're Special Defensive AF. And we go for a Lava Plume just to get some damage off. Just a bit of chip. Nothing too drastic. Let's go for another Lava Plume. They go for a Will-O-Wisp. Predicting a switch maybe. But no, we go for a Lava Plume. It's going to be boosted in power now, which does a little bit more damage. Nothing too drastic. Let's go for a Lava Plume again. They go for another Scorching Sands. That's going to take us out, right? Yep, that, right. Heatran goes down. That's, that, that was the idea. Heatran going down there is fine. Reason being is because now I think it's Superior's time to shine. So let's go into... Um, should we go Honchkrow? Honchkrow might be better. No, because we, we don't want it to get burned. Let's go Superior. 
Um, the reason be is that we're going to Terra. We're going to Terra. And uh, go for a Leaf Stall. I think that's for the best. Or Substitute. Terra and go for a Substitute. So we're going to Terrestrialize into a Fire type so that we are A, immune to will o -Wisp, B, resistant to Lava Plume if they have Lava Plume. Which they probably do have Lava Plume if I had to guess. Um, which means we should be able to set up a Substitute no problem here. So let's go for a Substitute now. And unless they make the prediction here and go for a uh, Scorching Sands, we should be alright. Um, they go for a Clear Smog, which would have got rid of our um, Leaf Storm, that's for sure. It doesn't break the Substitute though, which is great. So we're going to get some Leftovers Recovery now. And now, we can go for a Glare if we want to. Make it so that Swampert can take care of this thing, if we need it to. Or we can go for a Leaf Storm. I'm leaning towards a Leaf Storm, so let's go for a Leaf Storm now. Just to get a special attack boost. May as well get that boost to special attack. There we go. Special attack very sharply. They go for a Scorching Sands to break the Substitute. That's fine. We should be able to break the um, Magma with the next hit. Thanks for doubling our special attack. So let's go for another Leaf Storm now. Leaf Storm comes through. That's going to take care of the Magma, no problem. So Magma's down. We're at plus four special attack. We're looking pretty good right now. Weishu comes in, which is the Mian Shao. Probably Choice Scarf, if I had to guess. Stealth Frogs do dig in, which is great. And uh, now we go for... A, I would go for a Leaf Storm, but I don't want to risk missing. They go for a Fake Out. Oh, no, they're not Choice Scarf, because they had Fake Out earlier. We re I remember that now. Um, so Leftover is going to come through, though. That's going to recover a lot of that Fake Out damage off. And then we just go for a Terror Blast here. We just go for a Terror Blast. There's no real reason not to. As Terror Blast comes through... Um, I don't want to risk missing the Leaf Storm against the Mian Shao. So that's why I've gone for a Terra Blast there. May as well. As down it goes. So now, we just got Toxtricity and we've got Sandicotta to deal with. Toxtricity could live a Terra Blast, potentially. Ground Zero comes in, which is the Toxtricity, of course. Stealth Rocks do dig in, which might make it so it can't live. Let's go for a Terra Blast once again. Terra Blast is there. And let's see if it KOs the Toxtricity from here. It does, it does. Plus four, it does. I mean, I'm pretty obvious, but it's whatever. So Sandicon is all they have left, which means it is a superior sweep, which is absolutely amazing. Sean Cool is gonna come in. Sandaconda, get some stealth frog chip, of course. And then we just go for a terror blasting to take care of this thing. The battle was cancelled, they forfeited, so that's a nice little superior sweep. Gotta love it. Let's go. Okay, Cody has brought a pretty cool team with the Aloma Mo Lion, Treads Malamar, Alolan Ninetales, Raging Bolt, and a Feraligator. Pretty cool stuff. So, um, it looks to me like Swampert will do pretty well if we get rid of that uh, Ninetales. Uh, it definitely helps with the Raging Bolt, that's for sure. Superior looks like it could put in some work as well, to say the least. Um, we don't have Dragon Pulse, so we have Glare instead. Um, I probably should have put Dragon Pulse on there for like Raging Bolt and stuff, but it's whatever. I think if we lead off strong, if we assume they're going to lead off with Ninetales, I think Heatran's a good lead. They do have a lot of things to Heatran, though. I think we should probably lead off with Gardevoir. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cody. So they're going to lead off with Aloma Mola. Nice and shiny as we lead off with our Gardevoir. Now, this thing could be uh, a Soul Vest with Miracle. It's a pretty common set right now. So I'm not going to stay in and attack it. I'm, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my... I want to use Swampert. They probably go for a flip turn anyway. I think I'll go into Superior straight up. I think that's the best thing to do. So we'll get Gardevoir out of there. We're going to Superior expecting either a Miracoat or a flip turn here. So there's Superior in. They do go for a Miracoat. So we're not going to fall for that, unfortunately, for them. Instead, we're going to use this as an opportunity to get a, glare, a Substitute up. So we'll go for a Substitute now. There we go, Substitute comes through. And uh, they do in fact go for another Miracle, expecting a Leaf Storm, but no, 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 no. No, 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 no. So, what I could do is, I, I could Glare. But I'm not going to do that, because Glare will definitely hit. So, uh, let's go for a Leaf Storm anyway. They withdraw the Aloma Mola, they obviously realise we're not going to fall for the Miracle shenanigans. And they're going into Whis, which is going to be the Alola Ninetales, right? Yeah, the Alola Ninetales comes in. So that's great for us because A, they're going to get the snow up, which is fine. That's not bothering us. We get a free Leaf Storm, which is going to boost our special attack to plus two. 
And we outspeed the Ninetales. So we can just take it out the next turn with another Leaf Storm. Now, Raging Bolt does wall this set. But they don't necessarily know that we don't have Dra Dragon Pulse. So let's go for another Leaf Storm here. So Leaf Storm comes through. That should take care of the yellow and the Ninetales, no problem. As it does, Ninetales goes down. And Superior is looking pretty good. Like I said, though, the Raging Bolt does kind of wall us. But if we get to plus six, then we're not too bad. All right, Raging Bolt comes in. They've realized this is their only hope, provided we don't have Dragon Pulse, which we don't. So let's go for a Leaf Storm right now. They're going to Terrastalize probably into a Fairy type, which is going to be bad for them. So um, if they do Terrastalize Fairy, that's going to be bad. So they go Fair Water. Okay. This is great for us because we went for a Leaf Storm here. We don't have Dragon Ball, so we went for a Leaf Storm. So Leaf Storm is going to come through. That's going to take out the Raging Bolt, no doubt. Yeah, Raging Bolt goes down. There we go. Special attack boosts sharply. We're at plus six. I don't think there's anything um, anything this uh, team can do now against us. Unless they've got a Focus Sash user. But even then, it's like, eh. Malamar comes in. I'm guessing this thing's Choice Scarf. It's nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. Let's go for a Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm comes through. They aren't Choice Scarf. So we are going to go ahead and get the KO here. A crit. Don't think the crit mattered at plus six. <laughs> Malamar goes down. Iron Treads comes in, which is great. Nice and shiny. Uh, let's go for another Leaf Storm. I don't see any reason not to. So Leaf Storm comes through. Boom. Iron Treads goes down. There we go. Absolutely amazing stuff. And then we've just got a, potentially a Sylvester Loma Mola and a Feraligator. Feraligator comes through. Let's see how this plays out. So it's nice and shiny as well. Um, let's go for a Leaf Storm. And hope we don't miss. We don't miss the Leaf Storm, which is nice. And that is a dead Feraligator right there. Absolutely dead Feraligator. So Feraligator goes down. And now we just have the Aloma Mola. And it's, it was definitely a superior sweepy sweep this game. So Aloma Mola comes in. Like so. And that is a nice 6-0 sweep for the superior. There's the Leaf Storm coming through. And down the Aloma Mola goes. So that is going to be the game. So GG Code, that was a pretty fun one. Um, superior definitely popped off big time that one. So it's going to be in the Superior video for sure. GG.